everybody in here. Yeah, coffee was long ago. I've already been out and pulling weeds, clearing some stuff off my property, and I am beat. And I got basically into poison ivy very badly. So I went and took a shower, and I got on clean clothes. So let me show you what I did. Papa, why do you chase those squirrels? Goodness. All right, so this right here, I don't even know. I mean, that's all my neighbor's property. I could do a little bit more with this, but I started down by the mailbox. You may not be able to tell the difference, but I can. There were weeds that were growing up over my mailbox, so I pulled the ones out that I could with my bare hands and macheted the rest of them so the mail carrier wouldn't have to worry about pulling up here and getting poison ivy all over her. I'm not finished, but this part over here too, totally grown up, almost as high as the fence post. So I hacked as much down as I could. The rest of this I can get with a weed whacker, but I uncovered, look at all these plantains. They are everywhere over here. And they say you're not supposed to harvest ones that are close to the road, but we don't get a lot of traffic back here. So I think these will be fine. See, these are the, the little flowering parts. These are the leaves, and so I'm going to do something with all of these. And I also kind of selectively left a few like that. That's wild lettuce, so I'll be doing something with that. I eat it in, as greens. I put it in salads, uh, the younger leaves, that is, and um, you can also make medicine out of it. I need to weed out this little cedar tree area. I removed the logs because Mr. Lucas knows this is here now and he won't cut it down. But it's growing. It's doing pretty good. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll have a cedar tree here. But this, all the way down, was about shoulder high with weeds. And I cut them all down and I uncovered... What do you think that is? You remember that from last year? I'm pretty sure that's a passing fruit vine. So, I've left that and I'm going to come back and do something with it later. There is poison ivy all over the place, but I got all of this cut down, and it feels better. It's still not good enough, um, but at least it isn't, you know, waist high. And here's some more of this wild lettuce stuff. This is about ready to flower, so I'm leaving that. I'm going to do something with it. There's another one. There's another one. My neighbors are probably going, why did she cut down everything else, but just leave like a few of those weeds? Well, because I eat my weeds. And I got all the way down to here, and then my wagon got totally full. So I'll come back and take care of the rest of this some other time. But here's more wild lettuce. Yep, this is an older plant, so it's getting ready to flower. I'm just going to let it keep going. So that took a while, and it was a pain in the butt, but I did it. What are you doing, Papa? Are you chasing squirrels? You chasing rabbits this time. This one likes to go after rabbits too. And I'm beat. <laughs> but you know, I'm gonna be sore tomorrow because I use muscles I haven't used in a while. This is the first time this year I've pulled weeds, you know, and there's so much more to be done. Um, I did manage to get part of the side uh, the backyard mowed with my little push mower before it started raining yesterday. So I've got to get going on that too. But I need to go make me some lunch, so I'm gonna go harvest some stuff and um, maybe harvest some more stuff for dinner and go look around and see if I can find anything cool on my property or elsewhere and uh, just kind of relax for a little bit at least because I'm beat.
Here's lunch foraged almost 100% off my land, except for the bacon. Nope, Doreen sent me the bacon. It's got some wild greens for lettuce, some nasturtium leaves for lettuce, flowers for garnish, some fresh onion tops, a cucumber I harvested that morning, and some pickles that I made, some refrigerator pickles added in there. And I gotta tell you, it was really, really good. Now it's time for some chicken TV, yep. Mama is up there on the perch. She's got one more little tiny baby who's trying to find his or her way up there. Can't figure it out. She's like, oh my gosh, Mommy. Mommy, my crop is so full I can't get up. Come help me. Come help me. She's still trying. Oh, look. Up on the swing. Almost there, kiddo. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. For dinner, I decided on harvested chanterelle mushrooms with chicken, and I used a packet that Margaret sent me for chow mein, and I just sauteed the mushrooms, added the chicken, added the seasoning, and let it cook for a little bit, and was cooking the pasta, and then this is what it turns out like. It may not look good to you, but it was very, very delicious. There's leftovers. I'm going to have them for tomorrow for breakfast or lunch. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.